Hello everybody and welcome to another train simulator video. Today we shall be taking the Armstrong Powerhouse and Wagons class 321 EMU from Shenfield to Braintree. So first things we're going to do is we're going to take off the pause menu and we're going to enter the rear cab and press K to turn on our tail lights and we're going to jump back into the front cab of the train and because it's still dark outside we're going to turn on the headlights to the nighttime setting. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the train into gear by pressing S and cancel the AWS by pressing Q. Next thing we need to do is we need to go to the train destination blind and if I turn the cab light on so we can just see things a little bit better we're going to put the not in service uh, destination up which is five five uh, which is uh, triple five zero because we uh, because for the first part of this scenario we are running empty stock to Whitton we'll turn the cab light off I'm going to turn off the driver reminder appliance now and we are now ready to depart and the starting speed limit is five miles per hour down a little bit and as you can see in front of us the shunt signal in the uh, reception road is displaying a clear aspect which is two white lights The sound you've just heard there was a vigilance device. That will sound every 60 seconds and so we need to respond to that by pressing E. If we don't respond to it in time the brakes will apply automatically. The alarm won't however sound uh, unless it, we've op either operated the, um, uh, the throttle or the brakes within the 60 second period. Now the speed limit has just gone up to 15 miles an hour so we're just going to bring on a little bit of power but we must expect the station starter at Shenfield to be at danger. And the speed limit has increased again to 50 miles an hour but it will be going back down to 25 as we cross over the points here. So the signal ahead is a single yellow aspect. From Shenfield to Whitton we are pretty much running under caution. So we have to be wary of our speed and our acceleration. So I'm just going to bring the train up to 25 miles an hour and I'm going to start braking for the next signal. So I'm just going to start coasting a little bit. I'll put the train into set one brake application. The idea is to try and roll up to the signal and uh, continue on without stopping. 
signal is still red. And we're going to have to stop here. So whilst we're stopping, I'm just going to take the train out of gear and turn on the driver reminder appliance. The train has just crossed in front of us, so we'll just have to wait for it to clear the section ahead. In fact, I'll just check the briefing just to make sure that we don't have to tap this signal. Check the map. Don't think there's any conflicting movements happening at the moment. I think we've just got to wait. Just try, uh, try pressing tab, and it's denied us. So uh, it's denied uh, us uh, our continuation. So we'll just have to sit and wait a little bit for the next train to pass. I think uh, after this class 360 has uh, cleared the section ahead we will be the next train to go and speaking of which our signal has now cleared so I'm going to take off the driver reminder of points and put the train into gear and we're going to start accelerating and we are now on our way to our first station stop at Whittam which is in about 18 miles time. speed them a little bit there. So our speed limit has gone down, uh, sorry, has been has gone up to 90 miles an hour but there's not much point in speeding up uh, because we are still running under caution and in fact the next signal is displaying another cautionary aspect which will be another single yellow. So we'll bring the train up to full power. It's just cleared to a double amber now. So we'll just watch our speed and I'll probably bring it out to about 75 miles an hour so that we have enough time to stop for the uh, for another upcoming red signal. But we'll just see what the aspect of the, uh, the next signal is. And in fact, the, uh, there's not much distance uh, between these signals, so I will probably have to try and slow down and bring down the speed for us to stop in time. signal ahead is now clear so we'll keep running up towards 90 miles an hour just received another cautionary aspect so we'll just curb our acceleration a little bit because the next few signals uh, don't have uh, that much distance between them so we'll need to give us uh, give ourselves enough time to uh, slow down and stop through uh, and stop for a possible red aspect So 
just been given a single yellow aspect so I'm now going to start braking for this upcoming uh, uh, stop signal. Just going to put the train into a full service brake application now. And the signal ahead has just cleared to another single yellow aspect. But we must still expect the Ingot Stone Station starter to be at danger. So I'm going to bring the train speed down a bit more now in a step one brake application. And the signal ahead is now cleared to another single yellow. So we can uh, move uh, through ingots, oh, we can pass through ingots done without stopping. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring off the power again and get ready to stop for the, ne uh, for the next signal. So the signal's just cleared to another yellow aspect. So we'll bring the train back up to full power. Because we are still running under caution, there is no point in trying to get up to 90 miles an hour. So I'm going to try and keep around the 70 to 75 mile an hour mark. I do like the uh, early morning summer lighting in this scenario. I think it gives off a, uh, gives off a, a very nice uh, effect. 
can of course get a, a lighting enhancement pack from Armstrong Powerhouse uh, but uh, I'm, I'm just using the standard default lighting uh, provided by uh, provided with the train simulator itself so I'm just going to cut the power off now and on the approaches to Chelmsford we get warning of a 60 mile an hour uh, uh, sorry of a, of a speed reduction to 60 miles an hour just past the warp of board for it So I'm just going to let the train coast for a second. I'll start applying the brakes now. Because we have got a single yellow, so I've gone into a step two brake application. should bring us down nicely just going to release the brakes momentarily so that we don't stop too soon into a step one brake application now and we can now clearly see that our signal is displaying a red aspect so I'm just going to bring the train speed down further now and the signal is just cleared just before we come to a stop so we're going to uh, accelerate back up now. Class 90 electric locomotive passes us en route to the capital. Just going to cut the power off because there's always a possibility that the station starter at Chelmsford could be displaying a red aspect and the banner repeater which is used in areas where signals are quite obscure is just uh, is showing us that the signal ahead is clear and the signal has just cleared to a double yellow a single yellow so I'm just going to curve the acceleration now we now encounter a speed increase to 85 miles an hour and then shortly after that the line speed will be going up to 100 miles an hour which will be the maximum achievable speed and also the maximum uh, achievable running speed of the class 3, 2, 1. So I'm just going to slow down because I'm still not sure what aspect this signal is displaying. I can now see it better and it's displaying a yellow aspect. So we can now bring the train speed up. It is displaying a double amber but there's still not much point in trying to get up to 100 miles an hour because uh, the signal after next uh, is actually quite close um, so we'll still want to uh, be wary of our speed we've now got seven miles to go uh, sorry seven miles to go before Whitton
just going to cut the speed now just to give us more stopping time. And we've just been given a clear indication, so we're going to uh, speed back up again. And we've been given another clear signal, so hopefully we might be able to reach one, uh, our maximum running speed of 100 miles an hour. signal distance is as uh, a further apart this time, uh, the headways between the signals is further apart this time so um, I think we are do it for another double amber. I'll just cut the speed off now just in case. And we've now got a single yellow so I'm going to go into a full service brake application. Get the train speed right down. And I'm just going to release the brakes down so um, uh, we don't stop too early. I'm just going to slow down to a stop. And we can now clearly see that the signal is displaying a red aspect. Put the train into full service. Take the train out of gear and turn on the DRA. And the DRA also has the added benefit of preventing us from starting at uh, from, from starting at a danger signal because it cuts the power to the train and now that the signal has cleared uh, it would be a good idea to turn off the DRA <laughs> and uh, we can now accelerate and continue on our A It is of course mandatory that all train drivers um, in the UK uh, on trains fitted with DRA equipment that they must switch on their DRA uh, at red signals and also uh, they must turn on their DRA at uh, cautionary signals as well. If they've been stopped in the station uh, and they've received a cautionary aspect they must still turn on the, drive, uh, the DRA uh, to remind them that they are running under cautionary aspects. So I'm just going to bring the train speed down again. 
And we're now coming up to Hatfield and Peveril Station. And the signal is just cleared to a single yellow, I think, or it might be a double yellow. It's hard to tell because of the lighting. And we can now clearly see that it is a double yellow aspect. And we've just received a clear aspect so we are going to continue to accelerate to 100 miles an hour although looking at the uh, track monitor on the HUD we are now fast approaching our first station stop of this scenario which is Whittam start slowing the train down as we are now on our final approach to Whitton and because we are being routed into platform 4 there is a 25 mile an hour turnout uh, into platform 4 so we need to bring the train speed right down which is why I've just gone into a full service brake application because we are going in a little bit too quick Might not be able to uh, slow down in time. Just coming in a little bit too hot there. And we've just made it to 25 miles an hour. So I'm just going to bring the power back on a little bit. We're looking out for the forecast stop mark, but uh, for some reason, I don't think there are any stop markers on uh, Whittam Station. So we're just going to stop near to the end of the platform here. So I'll we'll just stop about here. So now that we've come to a stop, we're just going to open the doors by pressing T. I'm going to tra uh, take the train out of gear so that the uh, driver safety device doesn't sound whilst we're still waiting in the station and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to press Control shift and R to enable the uh, guard uh, because we are now running with a guard all the way to Braintree and I'm going to change the destination blind of the train to display uh, Braintree on the front and Braintree is 5517 so we'll clear that off We've now uh, displaying brain tree on the front of the train. We'll turn off the cab light. Just move outside. We've got brain tree on the front of the train there. So we have got a little bit of a wait here at Whitham. So I'll probably, uh, uh, once I've finished this scenario, I'll probably edit it out and uh, try and cut down the weight a little bit. But I think we have got a couple of AI trains uh, passing through. So I'll just check the map. Uh, 
uh, just to see if there are any AI trains within the vicinity. And I don't think there is. Oh, there's uh, one coming up from uh, Liverpool Street. Uh, that is 1P01 on the 0455 from Norwich, uh, Norwich Liverpool Street. So we will just go outside and get an external shot of it coming through the station. I think it's a class 90 this one. And the class 360, uh, the class 360 departs. That's one thing I don't uh, particularly like when I go out to train stations to uh, take video of uh, trains. I don't really particularly like getting bowled out by the uh, by another unit. That's happened uh, to me uh, a couple of times, and it's um, somewhat frustrating. But it could also be entertaining as well. Uh, it depends on whichever way you look at it. I tend to try and take it out in good spirit, though. So. Uh, one notable occasion where I did get bowled out was uh, when the uh, A1 Peppercorn Tornado steam locomotive came to visit Barrow and uh, because Tornado was running late we ended up getting uh, bowled out by a single car class 153 unit coming the other way uh, from uh, up the coast. And here comes that class 90 now. Just take this time just to get a screenshot. So we'll just take a closer look at uh, how nice the textures are on the AP Wagons Class 321 and you can uh, clearly see the warning sticker on there uh, which is nice uh, there's no real trace of any, of any uh, image blur there's another 321 sat in the other platform over there so all of the textures on the Class 321 are high definition uh, so, it's, um, so it provides you with a nice really clear image and one thing I forgot to do was turn on the passenger uh, saloon lights so if I hadn't have done that the passengers would have been travelling in the dark so I've just done that by pressing the O uh, key on the keyboard the letter O so. So we're just about getting ready to depart now, so I'll drop back in the front cab. And what will happen now is that the guard will close the doors for us and he will give us two uh, rings on the bell um, for, as the uh, ready to start signal. And then we must reply back to him by pressing the C key twice. So we actually just get the reminder to turn on the guard there. But the doors are now closing. Reply back to the guard. We'll put the train into gear. And we can now depart for our first stop, which will be uh, for our next station stop at White Knotsley. And departing Whitton, the uh, speed limit is 25 miles an hour, but shortly just after the station, there is a 10 mile an hour turnout onto the station. So I've just uh, 
realise what I've done there. I was, <laughs> wasn't really concentrating, so that's why I was speaking a little bit. Uh, so we'll just move it back up to 10. Sound a warning for the ungated level crossing, uh, which is just around this bend. And the maximum speed limit for the Braintree branch is 50 miles an hour. Just keep fanning the power controller in the in an effort to just to keep our speed up. I'll just check the briefing, and we've currently fulfilled the uh, first two instructions, which is good. The thing is with these uh, Armstrong powerhouse scenarios, they are in the uh, timetabled um, category and you have to be at your points uh, pretty much bang on time for the scenario to be able to uh, give you a, a to uh, complete properly and give you a green tick uh, in the scenario listings in the main menu screen at the end so our speed limit has now raised up to 50 miles an hour so I'm just going to bring the power up and we are going to accelerate to 50 miles an hour Now we're at 50 miles an hour, I'm just going to cut the power off and bring it back on again because we are actually uh, rising a little bit. So I'm just going to try and keep fanning the power controller in an effort to keep our speed up. So I'll bring the train back into notch one. So we're now on our final approach to our next stop at White's Notley. So I'm just going to bring the train speed down to at least 30 miles an hour. And 
now I'm going to uh, go into a step two brake application. And we're looking out for the four car stop sign, which is just about here where this uh, mirror is. Put the train into full service, and we've stopped just a little bit beyond the four car stop mark. But at least all our carriages are in the platform, so we're just going to open the doors and press T. I'm going to uh, take the train out of gear. And all of the doors have opened. The doors have closed. We are now going to depart for our next station stop at Cressing. Speeding a little bit there, so I'm just going to bring off the, uh, the train speed, uh, break down to uh, back down to 50. And we are now on final approach to Cressing Station, so I'm going to start bringing the train speed back down. We are looking out again for the four car stop sign, but I don't think there is one on uh, this end of the platform. I think we have to stop right at the end. Yeah, we have to stop right at the end with the S sign there. And all of the doors have opened again. So departing Cressing, our next uh, intermediate stop is at Braintree Freeport, which is the uh, most recent station to open on the Braintree line. 
believed it opened in around the uh, 1990s, early 2000s. I'm not too sure on the uh, actual date of opening. Up the train. Just move the camera a little bit. Another thing that I like about the uh, the sounds that Armstrong Powerhouse uh, produce uh, for all of their um, items of rolling stock is the, is the uh, fading effects. Whereas with some of the, uh, uh, with most of the uh, dovetail uh, stock, the uh, the sounds don't fade out. Um, they, they they just sort of tend to cut out, which doesn't really sound very realistic. But we're now approaching Braintree. I'm bringing this train into a full service brake application. So again, I wasn't uh, really concentrating, and hopefully we will be stopping around a forecast stop mark, but. Again, it looks like we actually have to stop down at the end of the platform. So I'll just bring the train a bit more speed and come to a nice stop at the end. Um, the mirror is uh, actually slightly obscured by the uh, the destination blind and the uh, the sun blind of the driver's cab. All of the doors have opened. So departing uh, Braintree Freeport. Our next and final stop will be Braintree itself, and the speed limit has now dropped down to 35 miles an hour. And on final approaches to Braintree, it'll stop. It'll drop down further to 15 miles an hour. So as we get closer towards that 15 mile an hour speed board, I'm going to start bringing the train, uh, uh, the train speed down once again. Uh, for some reason, I don't think there's any more puff board uh, for this uh, 15 mile an hour speed restriction, which is actually a bit disconcerting, uh, especially if this is your first time uh, driving the route. Uh, I don't know whether that is accurate to real life, whether there should be a mop of board for that 15 miles an hour speed restriction in real life. Because I know sometimes the, uh, the speed limits on um, these train simulator routes uh, can be a little bit uh, out of place uh, to their real life counterparts. But speed limits do. Uh, are con uh, but it is uh, some I know it's sometimes it might be hard to keep up with speed limits to uh, real life railways because they are constantly changing and rail op uh, operating companies keep making their updates and we are going to stop at the forecast stop sign although it doesn't really matter because uh, there is another uh, <laughs> because the eight car stop sign is um, 
not long after that. But all four carriages are in the platform, so that's the main thing that matters. So now that we're at Braintree, we're going to start shutting the train down. And we are going to turn off the headlights and turn on the tail lights by pressing K. And we are going to clear Braintree off the front of the uh, train. And we'll just wait for the scenario to end. And I will show you what the uh, next scenario is uh, that we are going to do. Okay, so there we are, we've got our scenario complete and our next scenario will be uh, one Foxtrot 09 v 640 from Braintree to London, Liverpool Street and this will be the final scenario we need to do uh, in this series of videos. So I'd just like to thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you again for our final scenario of the Class 321 pack. Um, very uh, uh, in the not too distant future uh, I'll probably tr I might try and get it done um, uh, sometime this uh, this or next week uh, but thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again